guys, I'm Emily Hastings, back with the vlog. Happy New Year's to all you guys, and thank you so much for your responses on my Facebook page about anything you'd like to know, FAQ in general, and let's go! Phil Aub, can you play Under the Bridge? It's on my list. Elias Antonio da Silva, he asks about my setup and what advice I can give to someone who wants to get their video known on the internet. Well, my setup is very simple. I receive a lot of questions about it. Uh, to record my videos, I'm using Amplitude because it's more practical. I will explain this more in other videos. About getting videos known on YouTube, my advice is just do the videos. Keep doing and doing and doing and share them on your Facebook page. Share them on your social media. And that that's the best advice I can give you. Chris. Chris Woodall. I'm sorry, sorry, Chris Woodacott. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, you ask about if I'm classically trained. Yes, I am. I studied at the university and I studied with really good professors um, and uh, they helped me a lot. You also want to know about if my band Hastings is going to do another album. And right now, everyone is doing their own things. I, as well, I'm doing my solo project, but in the future, hopefully, there's talk of a collabor collaboration. Larry Laverty, what's your favorite song to play and what was the craziest slash funniest moment on stage that you've experienced? Well, at the time it was not funny, but looking back, it's funny. Um, it's one of those moments. My band uh, with my sisters called Hastings was very young in terms of uh, musicianship and we didn't have any tuners and so over the night as we played the guitars got even more and more out of tune and so it was like it was like sounded like monsters playing like it was terrible <laughs> but it's funny now um Darren Olmsby you want to know about my favorite guitar players you um what are yours, your favorite guitar players, and who inspired you to become the guitarist you are now? Well, that's a really hard question because there's too many to count. There are so many people who inspired me, and people keep inspiring me. Some of them are the, the top guitarists that you can think of, such as Eddie Van Halen, Zach Wilde, Steve Vai, David Gilmore, Slash, all these guys, Jimmy Page. Matthias Jabs, Mark Knopfler. Um, I'm also an, a Nancy Wilson fan. She is amazing. All these people are, are really great. Um, there's so many talented players online as well. Warsen Almeida from Brazil. He's really inspired me as, as a as a guitar player. He uh, there's just if you look online, you'll be amazed how many um, how how many wonderful people are are out there. You just have to look. Richard Thieg. Okay, you're wondering how much time I have to teach and demo and, and blog. Okay, well, the truth is this doesn't take me lots of time. I just have to put the camera and put record and, and it's my way to contribute, to give something back to you guys because you, you, you help me think of new things to do and I really appreciate it. So, I sacrificed some things to do this video. You can say time, but I'm getting something back, and I, I hope you guys like it. Mike Ski, you ask about my comfortably numb solo. I would like to know your amp setting, that's what you ask, and, and what, if any, settings were used. Basically, I use Amplitube, Orange Simulation, and I don't use lots of drive because I, I wanted to keep the guitar smooth. I decided to play with my Gibson. I know that David uses a Fender, but I'm not pretentious enough to think that I sound exactly like David Gilmore or even come close to him. So um, all my videos are done in in my way, and it's a humble tribute to to them. And um, well. Those are the end of the questions that I have for now. Thank you guys so much. I wish you all a happy New Year's with lots of peace and love and happiness and rock and roll. Always. Bye. <laughs>